know the basis of how Marx. Now, in the absence of the minutes, how do we get to know that really minutes meetings took place on this date from this time to this time? How do we? Not even one. At least if we had had two or three, yeah, we could use that <laughs> as a basis. But uh, we are now troubled by confirming the existence of these meetings, especially that you've even said some of them occurred on a Sunday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> chair, 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 what I did say that if minutes were to be taken, they would be taken by Bank of Uganda. I wouldn't know if they were taken. I cannot speak for them. I wouldn't know. How were you approached in terms of instructions? In relation to the initial contact um, on um, the Crane Bank intervention, of course, we were not given instructions, and no instructions were given on phone. We were rang by Mr. Sekavira and asked to come to the bank. Um, and that would have been on the 14th, and thereafter all the rest of this begins to transpire. So it's not an instruction, it's a telephone call asking you to come in. By the time you became a transaction advisor, which you are calling pre-takeover, you had been lawyers to Crane Bank. So the question which Crane Bank left with us was, our lawyer was now representing the Bank of Uganda to have me resolved. Crane Bank is not its shareholder. Crane Bank is a, an entity in its own right. Crane Bank was distressed and needed to be saved from that distress, which is why it metamorphosizes in being saved from that distress, either into Crane Bank in statutory management, eventually into Crane Bank in receivership, possibly eventually into Crane Bank in liquidation. Those are all transformations of an entity that's being rescued sometimes from its shareholder. Do you find it okay for you to be a director of a commercial bank and then to be the legal advisor of the regulator when the regulator is dealing with a rival bank, to resolve a rival bank. There is no bar on anybody, any one of us being directors in a commercial bank and at the same time acting for the regulator. If you look through the Financial Institutions Act, the requirement to be a director does not preclude you simply because you act for the regulator from being a director in a commercial bank. On the first one, oh, okay. the, um, the one you, you 